in this one and a half horsepower head the distance of the, the bore from here to where it stops at in the in the back back there is longer than the valve guide is just a very little this is ample enough length for a valve guide so at this point what I do is turn it over turn the head over and install the valve guide from this end so let's put them in there kinda show and tells better than talking about it It just bottomed out on that side over there. Uh, that's that's not at the correct thing. It's not level. So let's do it again. This one go right here. We have two valve guides installed and take a file a little hand work a lot of the new machinists you know they don't they don't do hand work. You know I mean some some of the some of the new machinists don't even own a file. But as you can see, that's rounded off real nice right there, really nice. And the bevel, this is uh, that's something. Uh, it's got one of them ratchet things on there. Or oh, well, someone someone well, comment one time what this thing was, and I just lock it in where it's locked right there. And use it as a little, a little, you know, just clean up that burr right there. Oh, yeah. That's all that's required of that. Back, turn the head back over. Get it back in the fixture. And the distance, if you put the, put the measurer down in this back part here, it's about three-eighths. Uh, some of them is up uh, like a half inch longer. It's never been a problem with me. The way I'm going to do these are that one happens to be a three eighths steel ball. Put the micrometer on it there, and this one mics out at three twelve. What I'm going to do so you can see it. I'm going to drive that ball down through yonder, and as you notice, I didn't put any lubricant in that bore. It's just metal to metal. When this ball goes down through yonder, it should expand that liner out to fill up any voids that would have been in the reamed hole, and it will make a really, really tight fit. They do make a tool that you put right on right here and put the impact to it and drive it through there. But you know me, old school. So I went on ahead and just turned a little dimple in yonder. It's smaller than the hole. Put it right in the center there. And with a hammer. And it went through. The steel ball, here it is. And I do I do send it through there a couple of times. Like I say, now you can use the impact on this if you want to. The uh fire tool.
that's two that's two passes through there okay let's check the valve just where we at okay oh that's close oh that's really close let's run it through there again Y'all see that? Let's run it through there one more time. Oh, that's going to be a good one. See, that's too tight. That's pretty good. Seems like I can feel a little, a little nick right there. Let me get a piece of paper. A piece of worn out 400 grit plate sandpaper. Worn out hardly nothing, so we'll put a little shine on that bow stem. I believe it was a little bitty, a little nick right there. Oh, I can't feel it now. It's gone. And that stem is taking on a nice buff, bringing a shine to it. It was a little bit rough by using the scotch pad in the lathe while it was rotating. And these marks are going lengthways. Oh, let's try that.